Hi, this is Callan Bentley. Welcome back for another Smart Figure. In this video, we're going to take a look at ice wedging. And after watching the video, you should be able to describe what ice wedging is, why it happens, and its effect on rocks. So let's begin our discussion with this iconic landmark. This is the old man in the mountain. It's in New Hampshire, or I should say it was in New Hampshire. This sort of craggy looking face over here. So the idea is that this uh, looks like a face to some people. That face basically broke off and dropped off the mountain at some point in recent history. And because it dropped off the mountain, New Hampshire lost a vital symbol, but we can take advantage of this because this offers a great lesson in geology. So the basic idea here is the idea of ice wedging. The way ice wedging works is that water expands in volume by 9% when it turns from water into ice. So 9% increase in volume means that the ice basically pushes outward on any sort of container that it's housed in and that can cause that container to break. So here's a, a non-geological example, a bottle shattering when the water inside freezes. And you may have experienced this yourself if you ever put a bottle of uh, some beverage into the freezer and then it froze before you had a chance to drink it. Well, the same thing applies to rocks. So high up in the mountains, water gets into little fractures in the rocks. As that water freezes, it pushes outward on those fractures. So it basically enlarges the volume of the fracture. And that can actually serve to uh, make the fracture propagate. So the little tip of the fracture will propagate out and the fracture will get longer. But it will also widen the fracture. And that can cause blocks of rock to go tumbling over the edge. So this happening every winter, tumbling blocks of rock down. You can see that this big, giant pile of rock has built up 